Morning Fret friends, it is early morning, it is 6.12am on the morning of Saturday the 28th of November, year of our Lord 2020, and we have a really easy one on the bench today. And without further ado, I'll give you a glimpse, and there you go. This is a build, someone's made, well someone's building this, uh, I, don't, I think it's from a kit, it's just from a kit, and it's a Paul McCartney violin type bass. And um, he wants me to just do a few simple things on it install a zero fret at this end, cut and shape the nut. Um, I'm going to drill the bridge post and fit the um, stop tail piece at that end. So um, show you the bits I've got. Don't need to change the camera angle. Right, it's going with the black bridge, this one, but the black post inserts do not fit the bridge. I says that's no good, he'd already got silver ones, so he says he's going to go with these silver ones, chrome ones, instead. So I'm going to drill the spacing for these in the correct area on the base. So I need to measure the scale length. I do believe it's round about a 30 inch scale length. So it'll give me an idea where to drill. One thing I'm concerned about is this does have a block running through uh, to the end so I can fit the tailpiece blah, 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 as it should. Right, but it doesn't have anything supporting beneath where the bridge is going to go it's just this uh, five mil thick top on there and I says I don't like doing that I would have rather had something sturdy to drill into but he says no it'll be all right just go ahead and do it so I'm going to go ahead and do it the problem with that is these holes have to be absolutely spot on because if they're not tight enough these are going to loosen and wobble um, so I've got to be absolutely cock on when I drill those. Sure, it'll be absolutely fine. I'm going to have to measure the length from the zero fret I'm going to put in to the 12th fret there and double it. So we're going to put the bridge basically from what this distance is, zero fret to there. We're going to measure again, I'm going to double it and we're going to drill exactly there. Um, we do have some amount of adjustment on the saddles for intonation purposes, but we're only going to get one go at this because it's not like we can refill and redrill later. So um, I'm going to make sure I get that absolutely right. Again, with this end here, we do have a curve there, but this is a flat piece there. So I'm not even going to try and bend it round. I'm just going to have to drill the holes, uh, make sure they're central and that's going to be kind of sticking over just on the edges there. It'd be nice if this was actually bent in that area, but it's not. So again, got to be precise, but they're the two critical measurements and the two critical parts of the process I've got to get right. The nut doesn't sit on the nut shelf correctly. We are going to have to carve the bottom of the nut at an angle. That in itself is not too difficult. Um, I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine with that. The only problem is, the nut is being used basically as a string guide. That's all it is used for. I, I'm going to cut a 35 degree slant on the bottom of the nut. Let me show you exactly what I mean. There's the base and that shelf here is going down. So I'm just going to try and see if I can get to show you exactly where. And you see the problem there, you see? So I'm going to carve the bottom of the nut. I'm hoping you can see that. You can see if I put it in front of a black shirt, as that? See underneath the nut? So I'm going to have to carve the knot that way. Again, not a problem in itself. So we're kind of just remind people, by the way, that these videos are for the client. They are not an instructional video. They're not an educational video as such. I'm not showing you how things ought to be done. So if I miss bits out, don't come on my channel saying, oh, you missed that bit out or you didn't. Why didn't you zoom in on this bit and that bit? These videos are always for the client just to show what work is having done. But anyway, that's it. So I'm going to take some measurements. Uh, do some planning and once that's done I'm going to crack on with the work and um, let's see how we go on. So a couple of things I've done. <clears throat> I've cut the nut and I think we have a good fit there. That looks really pretty good to my eyes. It fits nicely both sides so that's ready. Um, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the zero fret in there. We'll glue this on once the zero fret's in. Something else I've done off camera, which you can't see, I've marked out where the bridge is going to go. I've uh, drawn a centre line so I know where the stop tail piece is going to go. So it's just a matter of drilling holes, uh, fitting the parts and uh, getting a zero fret in there. Not difficult at all, going a lot, a lot quicker and a lot uh, smoother than I thought it might do. 
I just thought it would be nice to actually show you exactly how I'm getting where I am on this rather than me just tell you things and just film not hardly anything. So the nut, we have the nut, it's going to sit perfectly well just there. But what we're going to need to do is we're going to put a zero fret in there. So a zero fret would normally have slightly bigger than the original. And what we do is the strings come over the fret, lifts it just a little bit above that one. And we use the nut just as a guide. That's just a string guide. Otherwise the strings will be slipping all over everywhere. So to mark or to find out what size zero nut we're going to go with, we need to measure the uh, size zero fret. We need to measure the frets already on there. And I'm looking at these and they are 2.7. So I'm already thinking I'm going to go with a three mil wide and the height of the frets. And I can get a rough guesstimate by just measuring over the top, which is giving me 24, 24.09. And I just drop inside, and that's giving me measurement. We've got 23.2, 24.2, so that's one mil. And the other side, 23.4. So we've got about a one mil high fret there. Now I do have some 3mm by 1.2 fret wire so that is going to be ideal for this zero fret. Slightly bigger than the fret that's already in there. All I need to do is I need to cut the fret to size. So let me go and dig out some wire. And once I've got that done we're going to check the radius. Looks to be quite flat there so I'd be going probably thinking we're going to be a 16 maybe even a 20 inch radius. Um, so we're going to match a radius on there. I'm going to cut a fret um, precise uh, to a precise side. What I need to do uh, before I even think of installing any fret is I need to make sure that that slot is of a decent depth and it is cut all the way through. Now I do have a little tool for doing this, a little Hosco saw just for getting right into the fret slots and I, I can tell you straight away that is well deep enough. Yeah, we've got a good two mil there so that is nice and deep it's also i know it's at least half a mil wide because this saw is half a mil so the fret wire i've got in there that i've got is going to fit in there absolutely perfectly so let me dig some fret wire out i'll zoom in a little bit and i'll show you how we prep the fret wire to install in that slot so i'm going to live cut a fret to fit this slot and uh, tools I'm going to need are I'm going to need a fret banding machine, some fret wire, some good cutters from GMI, um, and I'm going to need a fret tang nipper again, a good fret tang nipper by Sintoms. This is fantastic. Uh, this will cut stainless steel fret wire. So what we need to do is we need to match the radius or get the radius over. Get it slightly above or, or more tighter than um, that radius. So we're about a 16 inch radius on here. So I need to bend this fret wire to a 16 inch radius. Now at the moment, I'm hoping you can see, there's no bend on that at all. It's just going straight through straight. So I need to adjust this uh, just down a little. So it creates a bend in the fret wire and uh, she'll get a little bend here. Trial and error with this, but there you go. It's just bending that fret wire there. Do you see it? I only need to bend that end piece and that's almost almost enough. Just going to adjust again, tightly turn. And there you go, that should be enough. So we're going to snip off that end because that end has not really bent anything at all. Snip that end off. We're going to look see how much fret wire we're going to need and we're going to need to about there and that is a fret cut slightly over radius so it's got more radius on it than it needs but when we press it in or well, i'm going to actually hammer, hammer this in i think when we press it in it will flatten out so now what we need to do is we need to make sure it's going to fit inside the binding so what we're going to do is we're going to snip off a little bit off the end there And there you go, that's good. And now we're, what we're going to need to do is that is not going to fit on there without cutting through the binding. So we're going to snip these end tangs off. And this is why I have this tool. I'm going to get the tools out of the way. Always tools out of the way. We don't want to have any accidents by dropping a tool on the instrument. So 
Rectangle nipper, great little device this. This will cut the tang. The tang is the bit that sticks in the fret slot. And we're gonna to need to remove the end tang. So we're just gonna, oh, just basically, it's easier to show you. Just get it the right way around, place it in the tang cutter. I just need to adjust the tool just a little. And you'll see that that has removed that tang, that side. I'm going to do the same this side, just take a measure. I need to make sure I just go inside. I need to remove about the same amount again the other side. Probably not got enough just yet. Okay, just a tiny bit more. Just see where we are in relation to the tang on there. Okay. thinking that that is going to fit in there and you see that fits in now I'm probably going to glue this in so I'm going to I'm going to take a little bit more of that tang off not quite got enough there just a little bit off this side And there you go, and now that fret will fit that slot beautifully, look at that. How good is that? I could just hammer that in right now. I'm not going to because I need to support this end, so I'm not going to press it in. I'm going to basically get this end supported right under this heel, and I'm going to hammer that in. So lead back with me. Once that's done, my fret covers, in fact I could do it now with my fret covers and I can just nip off these ends. Now the problem with this is, is this is inside the binding, this is going to slightly overlap the binding, well it's not going to overlap the binding, I'm going to get right up to the edge of the binding. But there you go, that is cut really really well. It's going to be a perfect zero fret that is. Once it's in I will be filing the edges just to smooth them off a little bit. I'm going to get that pressed in. Um, I'm going to support underneath here, I'm going to get it, in fact I'm going to use that on my vise over there. I'm going to hammer that in actually, with a little drop of super glue inside. Back soon. With zero fret fitted, I'm just going to roll over those bevelled edges. And um, with the edges taped up just so we don't damage anything, what I've done is I've created the bevel by going that way and I could use my number four cut Swiss file, which is really, really smooth, just to bevel these edges over like so, um, which is fine, but I bought a recent new tool from Stumac, and this is the correct file for doing that job. So all we're gonna, it does have the cutting edges, or just the sides, and um, safe edges. That's a safe edge at the top and at the bottom, and all we need to do is just roll in, roll over, and just remove any sharpness or any burrs and we can do the two sides like so I've already done it off camera anyway and just over the top and that is a lovely smooth edge fret I've already done this one as well but we'll just check can do it this way as well don't need the tape on the bottom because we have safe edges anyway but that zero fret is in and here we are, all done. I skipped through some of the work. Uh, this is just a matter of getting the guitar secure and drilling two holes. We did get some splintering under the plywood top or whatever top it is under there. Uh, but so did he when he drilled, cut these holes anyway. I kind of expect it to happen, even though I did tape underneath. But we are nice and tight, that is fixed. We also have the uh, stop tail piece on there. I also added the strap pin because there was a hole for it. Uh, so that's all on there. The zero fret is in and the nut is glued in. Uh, really, really pleased with how this has come out. Uh, very simple work. It was not supposed to be ready until Tuesday, but here we are, Saturday morning, all ready to go. So uh, I've let Gary know it's ready. Really simple, not a difficult job on this one, a couple of hours. And uh, job is a good one. So all that reminds all is left for me to do is to remind you of my website, facebook.com forward slash ng17. That's facebook.com forward slash n-g-o-n-e-s-e-v-e-n. I am Victor, I am your fret friend, and until the next time, as always, God bless you, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next one.